Hey there, and welcome back to another Simon Says Farms video. I'm Liz, and I'm here in the goat barn today, and we're gonna talk about what you should have in your goat medicine kit. Okay, so we're gonna start with our basic kit, and this is a lot of stuff, but you kinda need it. So, let's get started with are loose minerals. Loose minerals, I'm actually missing the baking soda, but we have a container in our, in, in the girls' pen that has a double feeder that's attached to the wall, and we fill it with loose minerals and baking soda. Baking soda is really good, especially for the springtime when the grass is just starting to grow in the pasture. It helps to balance the pH in their rumen so that they don't bloat and all that nasty stuff. Loose minerals, really good to just, it's like vitamins every day. Um, so that's, that's this, um, B vitamins, super important, uh, you can get this at any local feed store, um, online, that temperature, this is a, not your digital ones, I don't like digital ones, the battery tends to die, especially in a pinch when you need it, um, you go to use it and it doesn't work, this is one of those old fashioned mercury ones that is really hard to read, but, I somehow managed to figure it out. Um, with that, you're going to need some bag balm, which is like a really thick Vaseline. Cannot see it if I just point to it. Uh, bag balm. Um, every farmer kind of needs to have that on hand. Penicillin, also super important. This you keep in the fridge, so I need to put that back soon. Um, keeping on with tummy issues, bloat is one of those things that comes around when you least expect it. Um, like I said, especially in the springtime when the grass is really rich and they're not used to gra uh, grazing on it. One of the other things I don't have here in my bloat kit is, um, what is it called? Penicillin. Uh, nope. Not penicillin. What is it called? Pepto. There you go. We need Pepto. Um, you're going to administer Pepto with your drench here. This is a 30cc drench. Don't really need to do much bigger than that. Um, this is how you administer liquids like Pepto, um, like this Power Punch that we haven't gotten to yet. That's how you administer liquid drugs like that. Um, anytime the rumens are out of sort, you're going to need a probiotic paste. This is going to put all the beneficial bacteria back into their rumens. It's very important, especially if um, they kind of stop chewing cud. You want to kickstart it with some of this stuff. Um, Syringes and needles, you're going to need a bunch of those. We have some dusty ones. Um, this is a 12 milliliter. I highly recommend 6 milliliter ones. Like this. And an assorted bag of needles of all sizes. So I have 18 gauge, 20 gauge, 22 gauge. And I have different lengths. I prefer half inch and one inch lengths. That's that. Uh, wound care for your basic kit we have blue coat you can find this at any feed store online any anything that's highly available there um, that's just an antiseptic which protects the wounds lesions abrasions keeps the flies out of stuff good stuff to have especially with chickens too because it's blue and they won't um, they won't peck at that whereas in you know open wounds and chickens the other chickens go after that stuff and they're nasty little things Hoof trimmers, um, basic hoof care, you're gonna need this. We also use it around the barn to open bales of hay and cut things, um, but those are, those are really good to have. Um, a tape measure. Um, so when you go to dose your goat with something, you're gonna need to know how much they weigh, and you weigh them by putting this around their heart girth and seeing how many centimeters they are, and then you look up online um, on a weight conversion chart, and that tells you how many pounds they are. All right, so super important, if you carry nothing else in this video, um, activate a charcoal. Anytime your goat gets into something that's poisonous, you might not even realize it's growing in your paddock. If they get out um, and they get into any poisonous plants, rhododendra, hydrangea, holly leaves, what else is poisonous? Lots of things. Nightshade, if it comes in your hay by accident, um, you're going to administer 
this and you don't want to be looking around for it when you need it because toxicity in goats can go from bad to worse in a heartbeat so have this on hand I usually have two or three of these on hand just in case I have to redose or if a friend needs it because that happens a lot too uh, let's see did I miss anything the power punch this is your normal um, it's it's an energy punch so if like it's a hot day you can put a couple glugs in their water and that replenishes their um, electrolytes um, so that they like sugars and electrolytes let's see in a pinch you can also use the drench on that I think that covers our basic uh, medicine kit for goats one thing I forgot to talk about in the basic kit was your CDT shot you're gonna vaccinate this a couple of times a year um, you're also going to want to vaccinate for rabies and bossy if you have I think you do that for both whether you're pregnant or not pregnant but um, rabies you can't do by yourself because you're not a vet and bossy I've just always clustered in when my vets here doing rabies so CDT rabies and bossy are the three things that we usually have the vet administer uh, once to four times a year <laughs> So that you can get updated as soon as we post more videos. Please join us next time. That's all for now.